Um, Brass Man Reptiles, our boy Jeremy, Jeremy in up, the house. Man. What's up, dude? He says, just popping in to say hi, guys. Got to get back to work. Yeah, get Thanks, back to work, man. dude. Get back to work, Jeremy. You do it on your phone. Yeah, come on, man. No, we love you, brother. No, yeah, can't wait to see you again, dude, man. Can't wait to you have you out here, us come out to you, whatever. Case I think he was just person. at Will and Summer's place, if I'm not mistaken. I saw him uh, down in Florida, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's I, awesome. I, yeah, I saw that. Simple man, our boy says, uh, hope you are all having a great night. Can't catch the podcast tonight. I'm out fishing. See you guys on the next one. Wow, there you go. Simple man and uh, uh, Silver Cash. Silver Cash both out for out the night. So Have a so, life? So, what so, the heck yeah, is come that? Come on, man. Got to uh, have some other people step it up. <laughs> yeah, V-Dog <laughs> says, if you put four snakes in with your female, is there a chance she will have the genes of all four snakes? Uh, okay, so <laughs> yes and no. And what I mean by that is if you bred one female to four males, is it possible if she had four eggs or eight eggs or six eggs or whatever, how many eggs she has, is it possible that all four males could father the clutch? 100% possible. Um, but each egg will only be fathered by one father. Yes. So she will not have an egg that has all four <laughs> sperm in it, you know? So you could definitely have all four. It's very unlikely that four males would father a clutch, but it's very common for two males to father a clutch. I mean, we yeah, have I'd it say. happen. Yeah, we have it happen all the time. We'll throw a male. Let's say we have, you know, we want that one last breeding and we'll throw like a, a really good male in the last time. A lot of times he fathers at least a couple eggs of the clutch. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's almost yeah. like one out of every five of, the dual, yeah, the dual fathers, fathers yeah, are usually it. dual yeah. fathered. Yeah, so dual fathering is is very probable. Uh, four, I've never had four. I've never even had three. But then again, I've never tried to breed three different males. I always just breed two males. Right. Uh, if I tried to breed three or four males, maybe I would would have that. But but yeah, certainly. Um, but but you got to remember, one sperm can only fertilize one egg. You know, they're not multiple sperms. So um, so yeah. Uh, Skittle Bunny says nineteen day old ground boas aren't eating yet. Any advice? Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations that you had them. Obviously, that that's a that's a feat in itself. Um, I mean, the, the the only thing that you can really do besides a cyst feed, which a cyst feeds will work, you know, it takes time and, and it's very a lot of patience with with little uh, candoia. Um, but if you can get house geckos, little Mediterranean house geckos, they're like maybe three dollars, something like that, two and a half, three dollars, where depending on where you find them, uh, that is a way to get them to start to eat. And, and 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 oftentimes, if you get one or two meals into them, and then maybe take a house gecko and scent a pinky after one or two meals of how uh, feeding house geckos, um, because that's what they eat in the wild. Um, not Mediterranean house geckos, obviously, because they're Indonesian, but Indonesian house geckos, but you just can't get those. Um, and, uh, you know, you can often switch them after that, you know, get, you know, give them a couple house geckos. Get some calories in. Get some calories in, some growth in. Then you scent a pinky and hopefully you can get going. But but they're a challenge. I mean, they're they're a really cool snake to, to own and yeah, a cool sure. snake to to, to uh, uh, mess with. But but they are a challenge. I mean, you know, you know, viper boas are the same way. Uh, Viper boas, uh, Candoia, Bibroni, you know, all those are, uh, you know, the Carinata, Bibroni, all those are, are Paulsoni. They're all very, very difficult to get going when they're babies, unfortunately. It's a downside of working with them. Caleb says, hey, wanted to say you guys are both uh, inspirational and amazing. I hope to visit soon. People here in Florida are reckless with Corona, and we hope to move to Utica just because of you guys. Stay <laughs> awesome. That's the only thing that's, like, got me a little bit. Like, Whacked unsure out. Sure about our trip to Florida. Yeah, to be totally I dude, Hey, listen, you. I have the same um, feelings. I understand. You know, I mean, I want to go down there really bad, and we're planning on going down there this month. Uh, but I do have a little bit concerned about the lack of uh, Fox? Like, you know, Listen, <laughs> yeah. you know, this is the thing. It's like you're either on one side or the other, right? Usually, it's like there's very few people that are in the middle on this. You know, they're either like it's a joke and this is all a lie, or everyone's going to die and this is going to, you know, and, and I think right now we're getting into a weird, maybe, maybe we are getting into a gray area where people that were thinking that it was really super serious are now lightening up a little bit. And, uh, and, and, and I've been pretty, pretty strict on it, you yeah. know, not that, not that I'm, I'm concerned that, I, you know, if I get it, I'm going to die. But I think that, you know, I want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. That's where I'm and, at. Um, yeah. and, and Florida is, I, I, let's put this, if we go to Florida, I guarantee you most of the time we're not going to have a mask around people. Right. Um, and I know that, you know, those people that were going to be around that don't have a mask have been around a lot of people that don't have masks. Right, and and right. so it does get a little bit scary about doing a trip to Florida right now. 
and that's the only thing that's got me a little bit tweaked. Like I'm, you know, I, I think we are going to go, I'm pretty committed to going, but at the same time, part of me is like, do we wait another month to win, <laughs> to, to win, 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 win up? now yeah. we're probably vaccinated at least, you know, cause yeah. I think that in the next, I don't think in March I'm going to get vaccinated, yeah, but, but I think April. that in April we will get vaccinated. Um, and part of me is like, do we wait till that time or do we just throw caution to the wind? I really love Florida and I really want to get around down there and I, I need a trip away um, and I know Jay has family. As yeah, I, but I, there. but I just want you to know, like I am on the same like wavelength as you too. Like I've yeah. thought I've had the same thoughts before. And the thing is, right. And like with the gray area or whatever, I just look at it as like, if I'm wrong, but I'm wearing a mask that I'm just still wearing a mask, whatever, right, yeah. that's not that big a deal. Right. But if I'm wrong, not wearing a mask, then people can die. Like yeah. that just seems like I'll just it's wear tough, the mask. It's not a big yeah. deal. It's a tough thing. And, and, you know, even so, I mean, you know, like the CDC just lightened up, uh, the, the, the rules on, on visiting long-term care health. Um, you, you have to have a COVID test within 48 hours, but you know, I've only seen my mom a handful of times in the last 12 months. Yeah. And it's always been with a mask on, you know, yeah. and uh, I can't go visit her. It's, it's, you know, I can't, they won't let me in her, her, uh, she lives in a senior apartment and, uh, I can't go there. I, the only time I've seen her is when I've taken her to a doctor and all of a sudden now we can see her, you know, I just have to get awesome. a COVID test, yeah. which is fine. I don't mind. Uh, and I can see her, uh, not right today, but within the next week or so. That's and, awesome. and I'm thinking like, do I want to jeopardize all that? You know? And, and, you know, it's like, it's yeah. a tough thing. So, uh, so I hear you about Florida. I love you guys down in Florida, but you know, I mean, Florida, Texas, a couple other <laughs> States are, are really going crazy right now. And, and I just don't want to, you know, listen, we're close people. We're close. To, and every day know. it's closer. And like, you see it yeah. every day more and more where it's like, people are talking about like oh as the country starts to open up and blah 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 and it's like that's huge man like it's yeah. it would be stupid to ruin it at the yeah, end right now if you if you again <laughs> i don't want to get into covid talk we're going to leave this in a second here but yeah. but if you look at the the way that the, the, the trend you know we, we were in this really steep decline and now we've plateaued and if you look back on when that's yeah. happened before last year we yeah. uh we usually after a plateau we start to spike again yep. now with vaccinations and all the other stuff i think we're in better shape but there's obviously variants and stuff like that that could cause this so i'm just a little worried about the fact that i just want this to be over people i want this to go back i want to hug you i want to i want to <laughs> you know you, i want to <laughs> smack you you know smack your butt no, no, <laughs> I, I, i'm just kidding i don't want to do that um but you know what i mean i want to be close to people and and uh, shake your hand and, and give shit, me love yeah. Oh, shake you your know, hands. I, feel and, you. I mean, it's so funny with in the Reptarium. People come up to me all the time. Of course, we're masked up everywhere, you know, in the Reptarium. Um, and uh, and and like someone will come and go, man, I'm yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you. And you could tell they want to shake my hand, but they're but like they awkward like, about I, it. They're like, does he want me to shake? Yeah, I put my hand out there. <laughs> and uh, so I just want to get on the other side of this. And if that means struggling for another few months, I'm okay with that. Me you too. Know? So, uh, anyways, that's it for the C talk. All right, uh, EB says EB. I just bought a 2018 corn from Will Banks Reptiles, uh, but it seems a little small for 2018. Mm. He was being fed rat pinkies, and he looks healthy, but could they have been feeding too small of feeders the last couple of years? Question mark. I mean, a 2018 that's eaten rat pups is a little bit small, no doubt about it. And and that could just be the case. Maybe they were just feeding it, you know, not feeding it enough, you know, or, or large enough feed meals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but the good news is, is that if it looks healthy and it's eating well for you, it's going to be fine, you know, and, and Will Banks is, uh, th that whole, you know, uh, uh, company is a great company, you know, uh, great people. They know what they're doing. Clean, uh, beautiful you know. facility. Yeah. 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 It's, so I wouldn't be concerned about the animal and that happens, you know, I mean, it happened. We see that all the time here where someone will bring us an animal that is, you know, a three-year-old animal looks like a yearling. It looks completely healthy. It just look, it just uh, grow at a different pace than what exactly. we would have fed stuff. So, you know, these things can, can happen and uh the good news is also that if it looks good and it's eating well it's going to grow quick yeah. and, and usually when an animal is being fed a little bit more modestly uh when then you start feeding it more regularly it grows quicker and it'll catch up to say a sibling that's been fed a little bit more aggressive well, that's so, interesting so yeah so so i wouldn't be concerned at all especially because you know those guys are great uh marcel says R brian red xanthics and lorries are the same just kidding love and respect you guys <laughs> i've tamed niles to crocodile monitors uh, working on my new lace monitors. How is Beetlejuice? Wow, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's quite um, a list. And I love that he was doing that. I do too, man. I'm, sure, good. I'm sure that created a little buzz, you know, because I attack Corey a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure there's, you know, whatever. But I don't give a shit about the drama. I, I'm not trying to create drama. I'm trying to... I'm just telling you it's not the same thing. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you the truth. That being said, I love the fact that Noah has really 
uh, developed an interest in monitors. Oh, dude, and, I, uh, I love it too. And yeah. I told him that the other day. I'm like, dude, when you're hyped with animals, it makes me hype, bro. Like, yeah, I love so, that. So, I mean, Argamas is literally a different animal since Noah. Like, I haven't seen Argamas act like Argamas is now for two years. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, Noah's put a tremendous amount of energy into Argamas Prime or Argus Monitor or uh, Argamas Prime, I should say. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and now he's interested in Beetlejuice. You know, so, he's starting to work with Beetlejuice a little bit. And I think that that's going to be really good. I think it's it's going to be really good because he's got patience and and listen when you're only working with maybe two or three animals you can really spend a lot of time we're working with so many animals we can only do so much with yeah animals, yeah, you know? yeah. And then we got to move on to the next animal and next animal so i love that noah's taken an interest and I, I talked to noah i think it was last night or the night before we were talking about you know what he should do and how he should do things and and so uh oh, that's yeah, badass gonna, dude yeah. you must be so hyped bro like oh, I, so I could only hyped, imagine yeah. as a dad who's yeah. been into reptiles and like your son comes home and is like, so what should I do with Argamas? You're like, yeah. oh my God, man, I've been waiting yeah. my whole life to hear No, it that. is really cool to see him and jazzed out. about stuff. And, yeah. and, uh, and so I think uh, Beetlejuice is doing really well. And oh I my think God, that if, so if cool. Noah was spending time with him, uh, he'll he'll do better quicker. Yeah, you know? so I agree. So be really good. Little bogus, first time, or first official day of spring break. Happy to kick it off with you guys. Ah, there you go. Happy spring, spring break. break, bogus. You know, it's really a weird thing, right? Because spring break is typically super busy for us here at the Rep but there's not a normal spring break right, right. this it's year. Been you know what I mean? like, it's been spring break for a year and a half. It's been spring break since last March, yeah. you know, and so, so uh, we haven't seen the influx. I mean, we've been super busy. We're sold out. Yeah, we've been busy we've regardless. Been, we've almost. been busy for months and months, uh, and, and, we, and, and when you look out at the calendar, we're busy for the next two or three months as well, uh, and, and really, you know, zoos like ours get busier in the summertime, so um, so I think we're going to have a really banger, you know, next, say, six months or something like that. Um but uh, but I've heard a bunch of people say, yeah, spring break. And I'm like, spring break from what? Yeah, yeah. yeah from I, mean, break? I guess from like, you know, yeah, not being on a computer four hours yeah. or six hours yeah. a day. With, so in, listen, enjoy your spring break. Yeah, and Bogus is a teacher for, for oh, eighth graders, okay, so she so. needs it. Oh, she you needs really it. Yeah, need that, it, and imagine. Now, that is a really spring break right there yeah, yeah. because uh, I, I feel bad for teachers because to try to keep you know, kids uh, captivated for six hours, seven hours a day or whatever online had to have been a nightmare. And, and if that, I'm not mistaken, she does in school and out school well, at that's the same a, time. A lot of schools are doing that now ah. where it's a hybrid thing where, you know, you're teaching almost two courses. You're almost teaching two times. Right. You're almost doing double the work as a for, teacher. Yeah, for the same uh, thing. Yeah, for, that yeah, was already I mean, half of what you should be getting. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, that teachers have really taken it to the, to the, but I, you know, it's interesting. I hope that, that we can get everyone in school and I hope that, I don't know how teachers weren't, high on the list of vaccinations from the very start. Oh, that should have been the Like, first. every teacher should have gotten vaccinated right off the rip, you know, yeah. because... Worry about um, our future. You know, and, and, kids. and get the kids yeah. back in class, you know, so... I agree. Solus Honky threw a dollar fifty uh, for so, love. And Solus, what are you doing? You're not putting yeah. a message, bro? I know, right, man? Yeah, we miss you, and you just yeah, come in here and drop yeah. dollars like we're strippers or something? Yeah, what do you think? You're going to get a nipple or yeah, something like that? Come want, on now. Because you got to throw a couple more dollars for yeah, the nipple. Yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, listen did, did Noah last night uh, follow my... Uh, suggestion Which one? and uh, to, to to tell people like I don't that. think so no no he didn't but we did do a freestyle but he didn't he didn't do what you said no uh, MJ just texted me said why are you talking smack you boner uh, when did, he, when did you talk wait, smack wait, about I, him I, I'm gonna look on my thing right here and see what it says it says uh, Corey Woods reptiles <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it was about Corey uh, so obviously Corey was on uh, trap session with MJ and obviously they they must be talking smack back Ooh. And forth. I don't give a shit. Hell you know, no. I, I really don't, don't care. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what Corey thinks of me. I don't care at all. I, you know, it doesn't matter to me if you want to say Lori's and, 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 uh, and, and Reddy's Reddy's antics. antics are the same thing, then go ahead and say it. You're, yeah, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's fine. Anyone that works with both of them will tell you you're wrong. But if you want to, you know, try to, you know, puff your chest up, you know, go at it, big boy. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, Damn, son. Can we rail this in? Yeah.